Let's first learn about two characteristics of ice cream that will help us understand the strengths and weaknesses of any ice cream making machine. The first is ice crystals. All ice creams have ice crystals. This is just a byproduct of freezing ingredients containing water. In order to maximize the smoothness and creaminess of our ice cream, we want to minimize the size of the ice crystals. The smaller the ice crystals, the more the ice cream's texture is perceived to be creamy and smooth. The second characteristic we want to understand is air content, or what percent of your final product is air. All ice creams contain air. The general consensus is the more air an ice cream has, the lower the quality of the ice cream. Therefore, if our goal is premium textured ice cream, then we want to minimize air content. So now let's get to the reasons you bought the Lalo 4080. Number 10. It can be used to make gelato in addition to ice cream. Number 9. It makes over one and a quarter quarts or 1.2 liters of ice cream. And in some situations, I've been able to make a little over one and a half quarts. Number 8. The bowl and dasher are 100% stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about cracking or splitting. Number 7. You use too much mix? Not a problem. As you see in this video, too much mix was used and it's beginning to spill out of the top. But the good news is it's not going to get down into the machine because the bowl and the machine are one seamless piece. Also, if you look at the edges, it has a raised lip. So if the mix overflows and begins to spread, that raised lip will contain it. And in this short video clip, what the individual is doing is they're seeing that it's beginning to overflow. So they're taking a small spatula and scooping out some of the excess and putting it into a container and putting it into the freezer. This way it's not going to waste and it's not causing a mess by spilling out all over the top of the machine. Number six, the bowl is non-removable. And as we learned earlier, this is actually an advantage. Some ice cream making machines like the Lalo 4080, have a built-in compressor whose purpose is to freeze your ice cream mix. The compressor has coils inside the machine that surround the bowl containing your mix, and inside the coils is a refrigerant that does the cooling. Closer the mix is to the freezer coils, the faster the mix will freeze. The Lalo 4080 machine has the coils welded to the bowl, so the only thing separating the mix from the freezer coils is a single layer of stainless steel. On compressor machines with a removable bowl, you have the coils, then a non-removable inner canister where the bowl is placed, the bowl itself, and then there is the airspace between the canister and bowl. So there are two additional layers between the coils and the mix. Number five, it is the Lalo's non-removable bowl design that allows it to freeze the mix faster than most other models resulting in smaller ice crystals. This gives a smoother and creamier ice cream. So, while you thought you bought the Lalo 4080 in spite of the non-removable bowl, in reality, you bought the Lalo 4080 because it has a non-removable bowl. If needed, you can get your mix really cold. The typical draw temperature, and the draw temperature is the temperature the ice cream reaches when it's ready to be removed, is between 13 and 15 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 11 to minus 9 degrees centigrade. I find that when I make an ice cream using flavored olive oil as an ingredient, the resulting ice cream is better when I get the draw temperature between 6 and 8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is between minus 14 and minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very difficult for a lot of home-based ice cream makers to be able to get the mix that cold. Number four. The clear lid makes it easy to check on progress. There's no more guessing if it's done yet. There's no more stopping the machine and temporarily taking off the top to look inside to see if it's ready. You can see it right through the lid. Number three, the lid was designed to be removed without having to turn off the machine. In this video clip, what I like to do, I turn on the compressor before I turn on the scraper. And I wait until the sides of the bowl get just a little bit below freezing, and then I start adding my mix. That way the mix doesn't warm up as I pour it in. 
Then when I get most of the mix in, I just press the button and turn on the scraper. Having a design where the scraper can run with the lid off allows me to do this. And in this video clip, you see me removing the lid and using my infrared thermometer to check on the temperature of the ice cream. What I'm looking for is the ideal draw temperature for that particular recipe, which I've learned over time. Once I reach the ideal draw temperature, I'm ready to turn off the machine and extract the ice cream. Number two, adding mixins is so easy. What you're watching me do in this video clip is I'm making chocolate stracciatella. Essentially, it's Italian chocolate chip ice cream. In America and other parts of the world, when we make chocolate chip ice cream, we actually take pieces of chocolate and add the chunks to the mix as it's being made. Well, what an Italian ice cream maker did some time ago was he learned that he could take chocolate, melt it without burning it, and then using a ladle, just pour it in near the end of the mixing. And the reason you wait near the end is because you want the ice cream cold because you're pouring on warm chocolate. And what you want to happen as soon as the chocolate hits the ice cream, it hardens into thin streams. But as it gets churned in, the churning process will break it apart. So what you end up with is chocolate more evenly spread throughout the ice cream and the chocolate pieces are much smaller. I can't think of another ice cream maker made for the home where I can do this as easily as I do it with a Lalo 4080. And the number one reason, it makes a true super premium artisan ice cream. Probably the biggest factors in the quality of homemade ice cream are the recipe, the quality of the ingredients, how well you prepare and freeze the mix, and finally, the quality of the ice cream making machine. The Lalo 4080 is the top of the line in quality. Very small crystals give an incredibly smooth texture. Overrun, the technical term for the amount of air in an ice cream, is extremely low. A store brand ice cream will typically be over 90% air. Premium store bought ice creams have a range of over 60% to less than 90% air. The Lalo 4080 is capable of producing ice cream with less than 30% air, which is 50% less than a premium ice cream, resulting in a rich and creamy taste. This concludes this video. I hope it has been useful to you, and thank you for watching.